Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I actually forgot. I had just preached at church and I forgot to hit the record button when I got back to start the online Saturday service. So this is the very, very end with one comment. And uh, <laughs> this was crazy. It was a couple of comments, but anyway, um, this is just a little snippet. Probably lasts about three or four minutes. And I really apologize because I totally missed the whole sermon. I missed recording it. Oh boy, I could have kicked myself when I got home. This is the message. And I, I was younger, not too much younger, but younger. It hit me when I, that I was full of pride. When I started noticing how offended I would get, if somebody would say something to me or do something in a particular way that reeked of disrespect, I would be like, hey, wait a minute now. Uh-uh, no, you don't do me like that. That was my attitude. I didn't say it. That was my attitude. And when I found myself, I would say little snides and moss, little, little digs. Total strangers don't know me. There are people out there that just don't have manners. But I'm taking it all personally, and how dare you do that to me? Well, see, when you are wrapped up in yourself, everything other people do, well, it must be aimed at me. Listen, for everybody that trips that way, God showed me folks got more things to do than be worried about a little on you. You ain't all that important in nobody's mind. Folks are just thoughtless. Folks are rude. Folks, are, they just show disregard for everybody. You're just in the group that they disregard. It has nothing to do with you. And you don't even have to bother being offended. When you're not offended, pride. Pride, baby. Just like God told Cain, sin lies at the door. Why does it bother you that I, I appreciated Abel? Get it, and not yours. Sin lies at the door. See, we don't realize when we are, uh, how can I, rubbing elbows with sin. Because we feel like, well, I'm under the blood, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and that's what I'm burning, burning fire. Well, guess what? You're burning fire, all right, but it ain't set on God. It's set on the fires of hell. When you constantly give in to your attitude, your pride, your righteous indignation, how dare they? Huh? I'll give them a piece of my mind. When I get through with them, they'll feel like I cut them up and shred them like a shred. Spit them out. Chew you up and spit you up. No, you don't. Not if you are really sacrificing yourself to the Lord. Don't y'all be quick, jumping.